What is cup typhus? How does it spread? What are the common symptoms and complications? How do we diagnose it actually? And what are the treatment options available? And how can we prevent this disease? First, coming back to scup typhus. What is scup typhus? Scup typhus is a bacterial infection caused by Orientia shushuga moshi. It's a bacteria. So what is shushuga moshi? It's a Japanese word. Shushuga means illness. Moshi means mite. Illness spreads by bite of a mite. Apart from mites, it is also spreads by ticks, body lice and also fleas. So usually how does it look? It's a small mite, usually around 0.3 to 0.5 mm in length and reddish color. That's why it's also called cherry bug. So how does it spread? It is transmitted by bite of infected larval mite. Okay. Uh, usually we'll see in hilly areas, mountain regions and across the river banks and also grassy areas. Where there is a lot of vegetation, thick forest regions. Okay. So what are the common symptoms and what are the complications we can see? So usually a uh, child will present with high grade fever, shivering, headache, rashes and also abdominal pain with intense vomitings. Uh, if not treated early, it can lead to uh, lethal complications. Uh, for example, it, it may affect heart, causes myocarditis and lungs, causing acute respiratory distress syndrome and also some mental changes will be there like confusion, disorientation. It can also lead to internal bleeding, liver failure and also kidney failure. How can we diagnose this case? Usually by two tests. One is a serological test that is antibody detection test against this uh, rickets cell infection. Second is PCR test that is rickets cell DNA will detect the antigens that is DNA detection by polymerase chain reaction. So if the child has illness within the first seven days, usually we can uh, go for PCR test. If the illness is beyond seven days, then we have to go for uh, serological test, usually IgM ESA test or V Felix test. So what are the treatment options available? There is only simple easy and effective treatment which is called as doxycycline antibiotic therapy and necessary support to care to be provided. Coming back to prevention and care. So there are uh, five steps are the prevent to uh, strategies for the prevention of rickets cell diseases. One is we have to avoid now uh, going to areas with a lot of vegetations and bushes where mites are uh, usually uh, it's a place where mites will breed. And uh, next thing is uh, you have to avoid going to uh, uh, outdoor activities like uh, playgrounds especially in humid regions and rainy seasons and when, whenever you are going to outside you have to wear long sleeves always you have to protect your arms and legs and uh, you can use the insect repellents also and when, whenever the child is coming from the play area always the parents should uh, change uh, the child's clothes and they should wash the hands and feet thoroughly with soap and water.